I grew up with more love than I could ever, ever dream or ask for, um, but it wasn't the norm. My mother suffered from severe mental illness. She was ultimately diagnosed with schizophrenia when she was in her early 20s. My father was suffering from alcoholism, and so neither of my parents, though they wanted to, could actually take care of me on a day-to-day -day basis. So I initially lived with my grandmother and grandfather, my mom's mom and dad, and then I ended up living with my aunt and uncle. I don't believe she would have had a lot of guidance down there where she was living when she was small, six, seven, eight years old. My mother was never violent and never cruel to me, but her disease made it impossible for me to know when she would have an episode, what days she'd be feeling particularly bad, and I was just a kid. It really started to become very, very stressful. So the decision was made by all of the family that it would be best if I moved in full time with my Aunt Kathy and Uncle Eddie, and that's exactly what I did. That's Gretchen when she was about six years old. My wife and I, you know, we loved having uh, Gretchen around for the weekend, especially in the summertime. And, uh, you know, naturally, uh, she wanted to come and live with us. And my wife was overjoyed about that. After school, she'd come down to the barber shop, and she liked, uh, you know, help out around here. And she would uh, grab the broom and she'd sweep up the hair after a customer so she could stay busy for, you know, three or four hours till, uh, you know, we went home. I, you know, hung out, I talked to the customers, he was so proud of me always, he would play backgammon in his back, in his, in his barbershop, watch TV, there was a little TV there. It just made me feel so light and so safe, and, um, you know, it gave me an escape. I don't think it was in Uncle Eddie's plan for me to go live there and become his kid, but he was there, he was dad, he was every single day. Even when I first wanted my very first hair salon, I went to him first and I said, how do I do this? And he said, your aunt and I are gonna help you. We're gonna take our loan on our house and we're going to support your dream. There's no way I would have been able to access my full value as a person and my full potential without him. As far as I'm concerned, Greta is my daughter and she always will be. My mother and father have since passed on, as has my Aunt Kathy. I love my mom and dad. I love the memory of them. I love, you know, that they were mine, but I could never, ever tell you that it was the same relationship that I have, have had with my aunt and uncle. I just couldn't. And to think, you know, for a man who never planned to have his own kids, now he's got my two guys jumping all over him. He's. He is it, you know, he is Uncle Grandpa Eddie. There's no other story to be told. It's the very best, most magical story of my life. I wouldn't change a thing. You know how much I love you. Yes. I tell you always I love you. Hi. And, um, but just the story of my life now, what I realize, what you did. You had no idea I was coming along. <laughs> <laughs> and well, you gave me safety and security as well. Aww. Because <laughs> oh. I have a gift for you. <laughs> I hope it's a gift. <laughs> Get ready. This is for you. I want to help you. These are actually papers for you to legally adopt me. Oh. Be your daughter. <laughs> and oh. I'm 51. <laughs> For it to make official because I want our family story that is so beautiful, so oh. amazing, and so different to be history because it's history. You did it. And you never ever asked for a label, you never asked for credit, nothing. So if you'll have me <laughs> after a lot of fumbles, I would love you to be my dad officially because you are. You've always been. Oh. I didn't know what was in the box, I swear. Uh, it's just, well, I'm choked up a little bit <clears throat> right now, but <laughs> it's overwhelming to know that she's officially my daughter. Aww. Well, he has to sign the papers, Rach. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> papers doesn't mean anything because she was always, always my daughter. <laughs> <laughs>